much for being here. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for all of your hard work. How many of you guys got out the vote today? That's right. So you guys have a seat, have a seat. You guys all excited? Want to share some thoughts with you, get you hype, get you hung? So, I'm going to introduce you to my family since a lot of you guys don't see them a lot. This is my husband, Tavo Tupola. Put your hands together. And these are my beautiful daughters, Talitha and Kumora. And so we just want to thank everyone for being here tonight, and we are so excited. It has been such an inspiring journey to be on. How many of you guys have been inspired by this campaign? <laughs> the reality is, is that this message has resonated with people across the state. No matter what community they're from, no matter what ethnic background, no matter what area of the state they live in, people know that our families are being pushed and priced out of the state. Is that right? And that's why they've gotten involved, because they know that if we don't do something different, that we will keep getting the same. And we can't have that, because really, in the state of Hawaii, we are losing our own family members. We're not connected to our people, to our culture, to our land. This is something that has hurt me, and it has actually caused me to rise up and do more. Do more than just for the people of Waina, but do for the people across the state of Hawaii. I love my district, and I love everything that they've done for me. And if you're from District 43 and I have been your representative, I am so humbled to have led you these past four years. I can tell you what, that when people talk to me about representing Waianae, they say, oh, yeah, yeah, the people of Waianae, they're not going to vote you in. Yeah, they're not going to vote you in. They don't know who you are. Who's this girl, Andrea, that thinks she's going to run for office all of a sudden? She's going to take over? Why? And what did I have to do? I had to prove myself. I had to roll up my sleeves. I had to go into the streets. I had to do the things that people wouldn't do to prove to the people of Waianae that I love them, that I work for them, that I'm a servant. 